Hello everybody, I'm Rookie Smith. Welcome to Faith on Fifth Friday. In 1932, the U.S. Public Health Services and the Centers for Disease Control, working with the Tuskegee Institute, began a study to record the natural history of syphilis in hopes of justifying treatment programs for blacks. The study was formally called the Tuskegee Study of Untreated Syphilis in the Negro Male. It was, of course, known by many other names, but ultimately, the Tuskegee Experiment. The study was supposed to have lasted for six months, but it went on for 40 years. It initially began with 600 poor black sharecroppers from Macon County, Alabama. 399 of them actually had syphilis in its dormant state. 201 of them didn't have the disease at all. The participants never gave informed consent. They were never told of their diagnosis. Actually, they were told that they were being treated for bad blood, which was a local term that meant anything from syphilis to anemia to fatigue, but they were never treated for anything. They did, however, get free medical exams, free meals, and burial insurance for participating. In 1947, when penicillin became the treatment for syphilis, the men were never even offered the treatment. Subsequently, 128 of the participants died either from syphilis directly or from syphilis-related complications. In 1972, due to a whistleblower complaint, the study was ended, citing that it was ethically unjustified. In 1973, a class action lawsuit was filed on behalf of the participants, and that next year in 1974, a $10 million out-of-court settlement was reached. It wasn't until 1997 when then-President Clinton made an apology on behalf of the nation and said this, We cannot undo what has been done, but we can stop the silence.